Hello, and welcome back to Ashley Wayne Makes. So today, I'm not actually making anything, but I'll be showing you my inspiration for Sew Upcycle 2022. Now, this is the first year this challenge is running. It was put together by Becky from uh, Notes from the Sewing Room and Karen from So Little Time. And this is part of a larger blog tour. So you'll see there's a bunch of other sewing people that you already know and probably like if you watch this channel. I'll leave all the ones participating up below to give you lots of ideas. The essence of this challenge is to make a garment out of non-new material. So you can use anything you like, tablecloths, sheets, towels, whatever, old garments, and make them into something new for a human. No pets. Uh, we are all going to be sharing our makes on October 31st, i.e. Halloween here in North America. And so you can have a look at the hashtag at that time to see all the glorious makes. So personally, I haven't done a lot of upcycling in the past. Being plus size, I think it makes it a bit more challenging. Um, I know a lot of people that do upcycling like this, they're smaller, they would use garments that maybe are my size and make them smaller to fit them, use skirts as yardage, things like that. When I have done like quote unquote upcycling in the past, it's been just mostly to muslin. So that is definitely an idea. You know, using things like old sheets or old fabric you have or scraps or bits and pieces to do mock-ups. I always think that's a really good idea. You've seen me do mock-ups a ton here on the channel. I pretty much do them every time I make a new pattern. I think it's the easiest and helps me put my brain into the right headspace that I'm gonna mark something up, rip it up, destroy it, etc. before making my nice fabric. So to get started and hopefully get some ideas, we went on a bit of an outing to the thrift store. We went to a couple of thrift stores here in Austin and honestly it was pretty slim picking. Uh, I think as everything has been in here in Texas, I think people are utilizing thrift stores a little bit more than they used to to get the things they need, which I think is awesome. I have no issues with that, um, but it did mean that there was not a lot of stuff for this project. That being said though, I did just upgrade to my brand new mic that I did get at the thrift store, which I am exceptionally excited about. So let me know how the audio quality is in this video. Obviously someone gave up on their podcasting dreams and this is honestly the best thing I've ever found at the thrift store. Other than that, sort of struck out a little bit on the fabric front. I did, however, and get this sheet. Um, this was one of the few that weren't like, I would say where the material itself was compromised, like worn and had been used or was starting to pill, things like that. Um, so that's something to look at if you were gonna make like an actual garment out of. Again, not a bad thing for muslin. Wouldn't be a bad thing just to cut up and destroy and use. But I thought this one would be a really good candidate because it does have a nice weave to it. You can see, I think one of the things about using sheets as garments is that you don't want them to still look like sheets on your body. So I think anything that's got a bit of a nicer weave, a little bit of like a twill weave or a nice texture to it, really lends a lot to it looking like an actual garment. I thought this one was nice. I don't know if it's coming up on camera because it does have a little bit of a kind of woven stripe into it, which I thought made it look a lot like shirting. So this would be really good to make like a top or something like that out of. You know, you can make a nice button up or something like that. So this would give me a lot of yardage for that. But that was it. That was all I got. So, and you know, I thought that was kind of lame. Let's just like go get a flat sheet and do yardage. I came home and had a hard look at what I have. Like, what can I have that I've reused? So I have this sheet that I found. Again, this is a cotton sateen sheet. It has a bit of a sheen to it. Again, doesn't look like just a flat piece of fabric and you would definitely use cotton sateen for garments. So this still has like a nice drape to it. It won't lay like super stiff. I actually think sheets like this are really good candidates to use as yardage. Honestly, both of these sheet ideas, as nice as they are, and I'm probably going to use them as actual garments. I do have some like cogs turning, wheels turning on things I could do with these, um, you know, wearable twalls, which I don't generally do. That being said, I thought this was kind of, you know, this is the obvious answer. Go get yourself a beautiful sheet and make something new out of it. 
I think what I'm gonna do is actually something that I've wanted to do for a really long time, which is I have all these t-shirts. Every time you go to an event or you volunteer or you do something, you get a bunch of t-shirts and it would be nice to utilize them in some manner. I don't know about you, but I really hate unisex t-shirts, i.e. the men's t-shirts that they tell you fit on everyone. Because I think for me with my fuller bust and that it just, they just are really ill-fitting. They're kind of uncomfortable. I don't like wearing them. So I have a whole bunch of these shirts kicking around. So I have this shirt, which is from a recent concert that I went to for Florence and Machine, which I just thought was awesome, which I don't even honestly know what I, why I bought it looking back on it now. Um, because I know I hate the unisex shirts. Like why, why did I do that? So I would really like to turn this into something. The other one I'd like to turn into something is this shirt. It says uh, Godzilla versus Puffin on it. Uh, as this great graphic. Uh, this is from a trip I took with my family a long time ago to Newfoundland and the shirt is still fine, um, but it doesn't fit me anymore. But it's hilarious and I love it and I would like to keep wearing it. So. I thought it would be fun to try and upcycle these shirts. So I dug through my drawer and thought like, what other things can I use as fabric and material that would go with these? And I found a bunch of these old American Apparel shirts that I have. So I used to wear these all the time. So I have like a whole bunch of them. I have like green one, brown one, black one, I have this other yellow one. So I used to wear them all the time but they're just blank. So I thought I would use kind of these shirts as sacrificial shirts and these other shirts as like the body and graphic of the shirt. You could definitely just use your favorite regular t-shirt pattern for this, but there's a couple of issues. So issue number one being that I find the great majority of sewing patterns for knits have a certain set stretch percentage because that's generally what's available in yardage. These shirts, obviously, because they're 100% cotton, they have like a little bit of stretch, but it's like mechanical stretch. So you don't have a lot to work with. So one of the things you have to look at is probably going up a couple of sizes so that your finished measurements are closer to what your actual body measurements are and that you don't have negative ease happening. The other issue with this is that most of these shirts, because they're for a atypical masculine figure, the graphic is pretty high up to where the neck is. And for people with a bust, generally the graphic needs to be quite a bit lower. So my solution to this is actually to use like a baseball tee, like something that's got a, oh my God, what do you call it? Raglan, raglan sleeve. Uh, you use something with a raglan sleeve so that you can pull the graphic more to where it needs to be and you don't have to worry about having extra material up here at the shoulder, like that longer shoulder piece that you would need. For me, I am going to try using the Cashmerat Stanway t-shirt. Um, this one is great because it has the full bust adjustment built in. So I think this is going to work a lot better for me because again, we're not relying on the stretch of the fabric as much. And I'm going to make a couple sizes larger. This is out of this book from Cashmerat called Ahead of the Curve. This is an awesome book. I'm not being paid or sponsored in any capacity but it does have a lot of really good basic block patterns. I think this is kind of my other tip to you is to get a good few simple patterns that you really enjoy and that'll give you like lots of options and that'll prevent you from having to buy lots of different patterns. So that's less of like an upcycling thing and a more of a reduce thing. This has like five patterns in it for the price of the book and it has the paper in the back, uh, but it does also come with the PDFs so that you can get these printed out. So what I did was I actually printed out like three different copies of the front so I could play around with like piecing it and cutting it and maybe doing some different fun things with it to utilize the fabric that I have. 
Um, the other thing is too, in terms of reduce, reuse, recycle, I did notice they do have several copies of this at my local library. So I did buy this copy, I pre-ordered it, but that's another thing to look at is like utilize your library. I know here we have libraries that have things like embroidery machines. You could also like rent this and rent this book and make this without buying anything. You know, really, really make it inexpensive. So that's my other tip, not that that's like upcycling but that's like reducing and that's what we're trying to do with our sewing practice right is reduce our impact you know and have some fun doing it so my hope is to use that stanway shirt and i'm going to use this as the center of my shirt and then i think what i'm going to do is take actually this yellow shirt as my sleeve so hopefully i've got enough in the back and front here so that i can have that as the sleeve i think that'll be really quite cute because it kind of brings out the color of the lettering in the graphic. I think the other thing I might have to do beyond that is I don't think I have quite enough room on the side for my bust, of course. So I will probably need to add some pieces, some panels into the side width that I think I'm going to play around with a bit, maybe like angling them a bit, you know, trying to give myself some shape or like flare them out a little bit. I think that would be really nice. So I might be able to utilize like the sleeves or the leftover for that. If not, um, I do have like some other shirts here. I have this black one that it might work well as side panels, kind of like add some dimension to the shirt. So I think that'll be really fun. So I think that's gonna be my first one. The second one I'm gonna do is I really love this shirt and I really kind of like, I want it to be like Florence the machine -y. I want it to have like that flower child vibe to it. Cause it's like, you know, we're going for it. So I really loved the Adrian blouse from Friday Pattern Company. Um, but this one isn't actually in their full size range yet. So, and again, not as convenient as using that other Stanway t-shirt. So I think what I'm gonna do is maybe steal the sleeve for this if I've got enough room. Maybe make it a little bit shorter, like sort of elbow length and drapey. I'm probably not gonna like cinch it in with the elastic. And then hopefully do kind of that lower flat neckline from this. So I'm gonna kind of like borrow from this a little bit. The reason I'm not making this straight out is technically like I, cause I need to go up a couple sizes. This one doesn't go up large enough. And the other reason is again, I need that full bust adjustment. So I'm probably gonna do a bit of hacking. We might do a little bit of sleeve hacking with this Stanway. And again, like I ordered like, you know, a couple three copies of this pattern. Um, so I could just like chop it up and not be afraid about it. So yeah, so we're, we're going to go with that. Um, I'm really, really excited about doing this. I think if this works out, I might do it with a couple more shirts, but so let me know if you like this inspiration type video. I know it's a little bit different for me and do let me know if you're going to participate. So upcycle 2022. Um, again, all the projects will be going up one week from today exactly on Instagram. And I think there will be a lot of really good ideas on there as well as checking out all the vloggers that I listed before. And please subscribe if you'd like to stay tuned for the final projects if any of this sounded interesting or exciting to you. And thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Bye.